Hi, my name is Pranay and through this simple video, I would help you understand how do you baseline continuous data. If you were, set, if you were to set out to baseline continuous data, the first important question is what basic virtue of the data would you want to baseline? Would you be looking at baselining your centering or would you be looking at baselining your variation? If you were looking at baselining your centering, again, what measure of your central tendency, your mean or your median would you want to baseline? Remember, the imperative question in such situations is the normality test. If your data is non-normally distributed, median is a better measure of central tendency. In order to baseline your mean, you have a hypothesis test in the name of one sample t-test. If you were to baseline your median, you have an option of a, uh, of a test called one sample sign. Again, for variation, two measures, one is variance and the other is standard deviation. To baseline your variance, you have a test called one variance, which can be used for baselining of uh, standard deviation as well. Let me do the same uh, on minute after you. In order to do the one sample t test, go to stats, basic stats, one sample t, choose the data and do not give it a target here. Do not give it a target here. Uncheck this, press OK. It will publish for you the confidence interval of your mean. So it is saying that the mean is like mean of the population behavior is likely to lie anything between 38.26 and 44.79. So this is your current baseline performance. Two situations. Situation A, you've gone on migration and you would want to use historical data to set up targets. This CI is telling you that historically, we have been able to achieve a mean between 38 and 44. The client will try and push you to achieve 44. You should try and convince the customer for a 38. A target anything between 38 and 44 is perfect. However, while doing a Six Sigma project, if you were to use this to set up your goal statement, you must remember that the goal must exceed the confidence interval. So in order to define the goal, you must have a goal statement greater than 44.79. The same CI will always also be published using the graphical summary. If you see here, it is publishing for you the confidence interval of mean and the confidence interval of median. You could use these to baseline your mean and median. In order to do a one sample sign test, the one sample sign test would lie in the non-parametric area. Double click on collections, don't choose the test median, press OK and it, and it gives you the lower bound and the upper bound. I was also mentioning that for, vari uh, for your central tendency, you, you may use the measures of variance and standard deviation and both of them are to be done using the same test of one variance test. So go to stats, go to basic stats, go to one variance. Similarly, double click on collections, press OK, and the confidence interval will be published. So here you have four confidence intervals published, two for the standard deviation and two for variance. Remember that the, the CI published under chi-square is applicable only when your data is normally distributed and the CI published under bonnet is only applicable when the data is non-normal. So if I assume that the data was non-normally distributed, I will use the figures coming from the bonnet test which in this case is saying that the confidence interval of the standard deviation will be between 9.9 .9 and 15.7 while for CI of variance it is saying 99 to 248. Please remember normality test is imperative before you do such baseline tests. I hope this simple video helps you understand baselining for 
continuous data.